We're now going to design the beam of this T-beam, beam and slab T-beam combination. Remember that uh, we just designed the slab and the slab is four inches thick. Here's the outline for the T-beam now. We're gonna estimate the beam size. Then we're gonna calculate B effective. I have B flange effective. You'll see that when we get there. Uh, calculate <clears throat> the moment. Select row and RN. I'm gonna pick halfway between max and min. Just read that off a table. This is important. Oh. So this is important. When we size the beam, we're gonna size the beam for the negative moment. Let me highlight that. I'm gonna size the beam for the negative moment for a couple of reasons. First of all, the negative moment is the largest moment, but more importantly, a T-beam is more effective against positive moment than against negative moment. So we want to size the beam for its least effective state, which is negative moment. And once we size it, uh, this estimate might have been wrong. So we need to update the self weight and recalculate the moments. And this will be both for the positive and negative moments. And then we'll proceed to select the steel and finally verify that we did everything right. VMN greater than MU. Estimating the beam size. 8 to 10%, that's 1 tenth to 1 twelfth of, of the span length of 20 feet comes out to 19 inches to 24 inches. And if you take 1.5 uh, divided by 1.5, you get anywhere from 13 to 16. I'm going to pick this. I'm going to guess uh, this is estimate. Okay. I'm going to estimate at 24 by 16. And this is key. This 24 here is to the top of the slab. That means below the slab, when we calculate additional weight to the slab, is only 20 inches. Now, be effective. How much of the slab are we going to count as part of the T beam? The rule is the least of these three things. Uh, the web width, 16 inches, plus 16 times the thickness, that's HF, plus 16 times that. That comes from 8 HF on both sides. Center line to center line, this is the tributary width. These beams are 10 feet apart, so 10 foot tributary width. Okay, and so 16 plus 16 slab thicknesses comes out to 80 inches. The tributary width was 120 inches. And the last one is the span over four. And so to remind you, um, this beam was two 20 foot span. So 20 feet over four is five feet, which is 60 inches. So the least of these is the 60 inches. Be effective is 60 inches. Our T-beam has a top width of 60 inches and a slab thickness. We did this earlier of four inches. That's quite a bit of concrete on the top. Next, we're going to calculate uh, the moments and size the beam. I'll do that in the next video.